This video will help serve as a tutorial for the Automoblox passenger base for the green T9 pickup truck. So as we take a look in the activity document that you that you have available, we'll be going through and utilizing dimensions from the activity do document. There are dimension drawings for this passenger base and a separate Word document, but I really encourage you to go through and utilize the dimensions provided in the activity 5.2 Introduction to CAD Modeling Skills um, assignment. So this is what we're working with as far as looking at the passenger base. So some of the dimensions that I'm pulling from show up right here and I can go through and start sketching those in. So I'm going to go through and start sketching a rectangle and dimension the width to be 1.975 the height to be should have been 1. Point, just to kind of double check 1.59 so 1.59 and then I will go through and look at applying some of the rounds to be a 0.2 value which is very similar to some of the parts we've made before especially for the automoblox body so using the 2d fillet tool 0.2 for my value and go around and start uh, rounding off the corners for this passenger base so as we go through this is a relatively simple component and we have a series of, of, of shapes that we're going to go through and create most of these are going to be fairly simple especially the circle and the square the triangle and the star may be a little bit more challenging so this video is going to be where this kind of helps you out with that so as I take a look I'm going to go through and draw a circle to be here and I'm going to go through and make sure to double check my dimensions as I take a look at it. So I'm 0.49 away from the left edge and 0.34 from the top edge. So from the top edge, 0.34 to the center point and 0.49 from this edge as well. So just to kind of double check and I'm good. The diameter of the circle 0.58 for my dimension. So there shows up for our circle shape. Our next one will be a rectangle or kind of a square shape. So it's more square in this case. So checking the dimensions I'll be point or 0.05 from the top edge to the edge of this rectangle and then 0.2 from the side and then again it's going to have a size of 0.58 so 0.05 from the top edge from the right side to the edge of the shape will be 0.2 and then for the size of this 0.58 and it is a square so we will go through and apply both dimensions both in the width and height directions. So the next part we'll go through once we have those two shapes located fairly easy to do now we have to go through and put in a triangle so most people would maybe go through and look at putting in a triangle utilizing the line tool however I'm gonna go through and underneath rectangle I'm gonna click on the option and choose polygon and I'm gonna enter in a three-sided polygon and draw that in right here below now the uh, the trouble with the with the polygon tool is sometimes is it go, doesn't go through and get very straight lines it doesn't have anything to snap to or kind of go through and make sure you're aligned with anything else so what we're going to end up doing is we'll go through and apply a geometric constraint to kind of help that out so what I'm going to end up doing is utilizing the vertical constraint choosing the line of the triangle and setting it so that way it will go through and show up just like how it shows in our drawing. Okay, so from the very point, edge point here to the edge of our passenger base, we'll see 0.2 from the bottom, 0.05, and then we'll have a 0.638 um, dimension here as well. So as I go from the very point to the very edge, this will be a 0.2 from the bottom edge to this point, 0.05 very similar to our, to our rectangle or our square shape that we had and then this will be a 0.638 size there. Alright so we're almost finished with this particular passenger base part except for now we have to go through and draw in the star and for Inventor there are no star shapes 
to be created. So we're going to have to go through. You're going to notice there's a series of red circles that show up around this here that's going to help us create this shape and they have some dimensions the larger one being 0.605 the smaller circle being 0.412 and they go through and have some dimensions to locate the center points of those two circles so we're going to go through and use that to our advantage so I'm going to draw two circles so go through and draw them with the same center point and then I'll go through and look at dimensioning from the from the left edge it is 0.488 and 0.363 from the bottom. So from the edge, again just to double check, 0.488 and then from the side, or excuse me, from the uh, bottom, we'll go through and we will apply dimensional constraint of 0.363. Alright, so one thing that we'll do is with these circles is I really don't want to keep them, um, you know, as far as once after I go through and apply their dim dimensional constraints, we're going to make some changes to them. So the outside dimension, 0.605, the smaller one will have a diameter of 0.412. So I don't want to keep them like this as a, as a regular line option as I go through and, and do that. So what I'll end up doing is I'm going to right click and go ahead and make this a construction circle so it's very similar to a construction line so I'll have to left click to deselect it once I'm done and then I'll go through and right click on the second one make it a construction uh, circle as well and then left click to deselect it over here in the white space somewhere in the drawing area so our next part is we're going to go through and create the star shape as we do that so this will kind of go through and maybe not make it so confusing utilizing these construction lines. I'm going to use the polygon tool again. I'm going to create a pentagon in order to do that. So 5, I'll choose the center point of the circles as the center point of the polygon and I'll draw this out to the very edge, the very um, largest diameter circle that shows up. I'll right click, I'll say OK and then I can go through and start utilizing some different points. Well, one thing that's going to help me is I'm going to use the line tool and from the from the very center of our point here is I'm going to find the midpoint or the very midpoint of our lines on this pentagon. So when I see the midpoint it will show up as a green dot. So if I so see how this kind of snaps and shows the green dot. So I'll, once I go through and hit that I'll click to set a line in there and I'm going to go around and do that all for around all five sides. And what this does is it's going to help us constrain and create the legs of our star shape. So go around, I'll find all the midpoints, and then what I can end up doing in order to do that is I'm going to use those to kind of help me out. So using the line tool, I will go from this corner to where the line hits onto the smaller circle, and then I'll go through and, con and connect from here to this corner. So it kind of goes through and makes like a uh, kind of the older version of the, of the Chrysler uh, car symbol. So as I go around, go from this corner to this line, from here to here, and then from here to this line. And I'm just going to keep going through and repeating the same pattern. So then that way I can go through and extrude this shape. So what, what these lines do is they kind of help go through and give you a point to connect to. So that way you're not just kind of drawing out into blindly in the free space. Okay, what I'll do is I'm going to use the trim tool, and with the trim tool, once I have everything I want, I'm just going to go around and kind of trim away all the lines that I don't want. And I may want to zoom in and kind of make sure I'm getting all those. So then that way all I have is my star shape. Once I have it too, I can also kind of trim away these inside lines that I used as well. So I encourage you to make sure you trim away those, those lines. So that way it doesn't go, they'll go through, it cleans it up, and it'll make it easier on your extrusion. It'll then go through and it will uh, extrude the star shape like it is. Okay, once we're done with that, we'll right click and say OK. We will finish the sketch. We will go through, we will extrude. I'll choose the shape. And the extrusion depth on this will be a 0.3. And we're going to go through and apply a shell thickness of... 
0.01. So 0.3, choose uh, rotate around to the back part, choose shell, change the thickness to 0.01, and then click on the back to remove the faces to see the shell thickness being applied. Click OK, and for this part, we're going to want to change the color to uh, green. So, and actually, it may be show it may show up as dark green. So, dark green. We'll go through and have our color, and this finishes the Automoblox base for the green T9 pickup truck.